the Haftorah of this week speaks about a different kind of menorah. And I read in commentaries that the menorah that the, of the vision, the prophecy of the prophet Zechariah is a different kind of the menorah than, is a different kind than the menorah of the holy temple. The menorah of the holy temple is straight with the, uh, like resembling the Hanukkah menorah while the menorah that the in the prophecy of Zechariah is a candelabra of the main one in the middle and the the six uh, candles the six branches are surrounding it around menorah and the prophecy is what the vision that Zechariah had was that on top of the menorah of the gold menorah was a bowl on its top and from that bowl there was seven conduits seven ducts for each of the seven lamps on the side of the bowl each side had olive trees, one on the right, one on the left. And the olives were getting pressed and pressed and get getting ready for the oil to come out from it on their own and dripping into each of the lamps. Zechariah is asking, what is this? And he's being told that the candelabra is representing the Jewish people as a whole. And each one, each branch, each kind has their way of expressing God's light into the world. But the overall message is that the oil, the fire that brings light to the world is not something that you should be proud of as self-made, but it is a godly force God's blessing that gives the oil and the tools in order to bring light. With a famous saying in this prophecy, Lo v'chayil v'lo v'choach ki im beruchi amar Hashem tzvaot. Hashem says that it is not v'chayil. It is not with your own army your own strength, not with your own koach and power that you will win, that you will get to bring light to the world, but it is Beruchi, it is Hashem who is, who is supplying the tools to make it happen. What a powerful message. We are engaged with the with the task of bringing light to the world, being a light unto the nations. This is the menorah. We are the menorah. Israel, our holy land, our holy people in our holy land are meant to bring light to the world, each one in their, in their way including our chayalim, our chayalei tzahal, our holy soldiers, each one of them in bringing the sacredness of life, safety to the world, to our holy land and the world at large. 
Hashem says, don't think that it is your own kochi ve'otsem yadi asali et lazeh. Don't think that it is my power, my wisdom, my intelligence that have made all this great success, all this power. But it is lo ve'chayil ve'lo ve'roach ki'im beruchi. It is Hashem's power that is making it happen. Hashem's blessing that is making it happen. So as we are now in the midst of a war, and yes, Israel is strong, we need to remember us and the leadership and the army and each and every one of us on an individual level that it is not with our own wisdom and our own strength that we could make it. It is miraculous. It is Hashem that is making it happen. And it is Hashem that is giving us the tools to bring light to the world as a people, as a community, as a family, and as, a, as an individual. Each one of us is empowered with this great mitzvah of of being a light and a a, an, a, 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 an example as a role model with sanctifying God's name in my life and in my surrounding. Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom.